Hi Cancer, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Cancer, this is going to be your own reading today. Yeah, and uh, if it turns into a love reading, which it usually does, the extended will be, uh, you like your person spread. And this is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and uh, we always have to say Venus because they're love readings, right? Yeah. And what we have here, Cancer, is hostilities and walking away. Uh, maybe you're walking away from somebody here because it's getting tense, right? Because of these hostilities. And we have Panther Spirit, reclaim your power. <clears throat> so we have this beautiful panther here. And uh, he, like he has jewels kind of on his little forehead, it looks like. But these little jewels could be, you know, like, like he's a king. Like reclaim your power, right? Let's see what we have. And let's look at the heart of the matter for you. It is the... The chariot, that's you. Ten of Wands reversed. <clears throat> okay, so you're dropping a burden here. Ten of Wands reversed. You're dropping this, you're dropping, like, you're ending it. Well, you're walking away from somebody. And here, it's kind of a release here. Because the Ten of Wands is reversed. And this is happening soon. And here you are, the chariot card. And let's see, the hangman, wow, with the magician here. So you're looking at things from all angles here. You might feel stuck, but I feel like you are looking at things from all angles because of this ten of wands is reversed here. And the empress, wow. So let's see, this looks like looks like you're walking away, maybe because uh, there's third-party energy here. We have five major arcana in the heart of the matter. Yeah, this is a huge reading. And I feel like you kind of feel like you're in bondage here. And you could be sacrificing somebody here. There's some type of movement here. Somebody's manifesting something. And you you could feel stuck about it. But I feel like you probably were just, you know, looking at every perspective. Like every angle here. And this has put you in uh, bondage. It has. And there's an empress here. And there could be somebody, like, possibly on the outside, like, with you and your person, possibly a third person, and you're just walking away from it. Let's see what else we have. Let's get one more card in the heart of the matter. And it is the Three of Swords. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, you're walking away here, deciding, because uh, there's third-party energy here. And you go, I don't, yeah, I don't want this for my life, no. And your highest expectations... The Seven of Pentacles and the Justice card. So, you know, th you are wondering if you're going to have justice or if, or if your person is. Maybe there's Libra here, but let's see what else we have. And the Death card. OMG. <clears throat> this could be a divorce right here. Justice, Death card. You could be uh, here, like, concerned about your finances here. Like, thinking about them if, you know, if you indeed kind of leave somebody here, like... How's my money going to, you know, turn out? And the Queen of Swords is coming into play. So let's see what that's about. And the Sun card reversed. Eight of Wands. Some of these discernings, I mean, can be you definitely, right? About change. This is I like some type of unhappy change here. And this is, I believe, you walking away. I also believe like somebody's moving towards somebody, possibly. You know, I don't like to bring that up, but we have the third, we have the three of swords here. There could just be heartbreak here, and you just want to kind of walk end a situation. That could be the case. Mm -hmm. You may be thinking about this for some, right? Maybe you are not fully decided on walking away. It looks like you are, but down here you could be discerning, like, it's possible you don't have some clarity here, uh, possibly, but I feel like this is more about discerning, like, change. You could be thinking, too, here that uh, a change, some change here could bring you, like, clarity as well. Like, you go, like, it's kind of like, well, um, if maybe if I make a move here, it's going to show, it will show, like, what's going to happen. Like, it'll clarify things for me, right, once I take a step in this direction, something like that. 
We have the Moon card, the Four of Wands. Emperor. This is a huge reading with all these major arcanas. We have like eight major arcana here. Mm -hmm. Half the reading is major arcana. So let's see what else we have. So, you know, I just feel like there was doubts here, or there could have been sadness here, too. I feel like this, as part of the past, somebody here, I feel like you were confused here. Uh, it's possible on, like, what action you should take in the past. Five of Pentacles reversed. I mean, not reversed, in the upright. Yeah, the, here you're in this energy kind of maybe a little bit Cancer, like, confused in the past. If you should leave somebody out or if they're leaving you out, five of pentacles. And if you should plan for this, but I feel like it's if somebody was, like, already planning this. Yeah, because you're seeking your clarity here. I think you think that somebody was planning, your person was planning to leave. Maybe they were hostile with you and you're like, well, what's it's changing, like, you know... <coughs> Somebody's maybe they were behaving different. There's the hostilities card is here. And coming soon, <coughs> Ten of Wands reversed, Seven of Cups. I feel like, you know, this is like somebody's making a hard choice here and they're releasing themselves. Like you could be walking away going, I have to do this. It's been a hard choice, but I gotta walk away because I I need to release myself. Because we have this card, you know, reclaim your power, panther spirit. Like, and this is how you're reclaiming your power, by walking away. Star card reversed. Yeah, I feel like you could have felt like there wasn't any, there wasn't any, like, hope left or faith. Right? And somebody could be healing another situation here. It's a possibility, and this is, you know. But this is, like, I feel like you're lacking hope in this situation. And the best thing is to, like... <coughs> Take back your power by, by walking away. Excuse me, you guys. And how you are affecting others, Cancer, is the Nine of Wands. You could be putting somebody in this, and the Six of Cups reversed. Yeah, see, somebody's returning to somebody from their past. You, they could be in this energy, this person, where they are, like, worried about where they're going. Because this is kind of how you kind of have made them feel. And it, it doesn't have to be that you did this on purpose. It, this The dynamic between you guys. Like, this person, if they are walking away, or if they see you walking away, this could be saying they're not sure kind of where they're headed. And now they are the wounded warrior. Like, what's going to happen next? Uh, with regard to somebody from the past, Six of Cups reversed, this person wants to return to somebody from their past. And in the hopes and fears for you is the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Mm -hmm. You could be fearing here this person's turning their back or they're waiting for their ships to come in with this person. I feel like you are. And the Ace of Pentacles, yeah. And it's also possible you are hoping to possibly, like... Maybe turn your back on this whole situation, right? Because that's the flip side of that, of even of that card, Three of Wands, right? Let's look at your, uh, your spread here, your gypsy spread, before we go to the extended. The young woman, the falseness card in the past. See, there were lies in the past. The young woman is in the heart of the matter. This is somebody who's not married. This can be like a third-party empress person. She doesn't have to be young. And, okay. So, you know, this, we have the gift in the, in the obstacle. This person and the falseness card. So you're dealing with third-party energy here. Yeah, you are, definitely. But we're going to see here, this is just tidbits, cancer. Uh, and, um, yeah, we're also going to look at how they feel about you, right? The issues between you both. What's on their mind, Cancer? Their near future. Who's in their environment or 
maybe their emotional uh, state, you know, in their environment, what you don't know about them and their outcome. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. They're all super affordable, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.